Yo, what's going on guys, this is Rebuilds and I come back with a new video. Today in this video we're going to be repairing the two doors and quarter panels on this scrappy looking Cavalier. Well, it's not scrappy, like it's probably alright. Now we need to obviously clear a wee bit of room here. This is, someone's tried to repair this quarter panel before, and it's like fuck all. And it's painted real bad. There's just a wee damage along the bottom of the doors there. Now, we're going to do this in one way. We're going to paint the bottom of the doors and forget about the top. We're not worried about the top. We'll blow in right around this, obviously. Blow that whole quarter panel in right at the top edge. And um, we're going to just, we don't even need to touch the top of this quarter because it's actually all right. It's just we damage here on a line there, as you can see in the video. We're just going to fix these, blow a bit of primer on them, drag gloss them that long about them. We're not going to do that this video. We're going to try and fix them and prime them. Um, there's... Another thing I want to do is a bonnet. The bonnet is all just all badly painted before, scored and stuff. So we're gonna take it. Don't even know if I will take it off. About five hundred and tape it up. And I think that's it. I think that's all we're doing this. No, I can't really remember, but I think it is. But anyway, guys, if you could actually drop down in the comments below what might be wrong with this, I ran out of petrol about ten months ago, and we put petrol on. Now we can't get it going. We've tried everything. So drop down comments if you know anything why it's not starting. So the first thing we're going to do is grind these with a wee bit of a die grinder. Just take it all back to the bare metal. Get the dim puller, pull this out, damage any heights down, or dolly any heights down. And get mixed knives pump put in. So I'll show the whole process anyway guys. I'll put the stud puller we're going to use down in the comments below. So if any of you guys actually want one, you just can go ahead and buy one. So anyways, enough for talking, let's crack on. I lost my best friend to 23 She left her body and hovered above me I saw no shadow, I looked around Searched every building and home that I found I saw no shadow, but felt the glow The warmth inside me kept me afloat it Felt like heaven, I found my bones And gave me comfort when I feel alone Now you're gone, I'm alone I guess it's time to so you have it guys, it's size an eyes upon, so hopefully that one skim will do. The dimpler actually did bring it out pretty nice. That's the wee kit you get there. You actually get a wee slide and hammer comes with that kit, but I broke it, so yeah, I have to use grips so not looks rough. Still does the job. So if you want one of them cats, I'll leave it down in the description. This side's going to be a wee bit harder and trickier, maybe. Just depends how much ice pawn's actually in this quarter pawn. As you can see, you see the scores and all that are just coming through. That wee bottom bit should just pop out lovely. Skim over that, not worried about that. Yeah, down to this. There's a, wee, there's a wee damage there. Right there, so we'll fix that wee bit. But anyway, guys, what we're going to do, we're going to get a wee bit 180 and just DA yeah, this and see how far back it goes. I'm just hoping this whole thing is now full of ice pond. Or I will cry and I might jump off a bridge. Well, I'm not going to do that, like, but anyway, let's get cracking and see what's racking. With each living breath, I saw no way out from where I stood. Felt like the fire had burned me for now. Yeah, you're gone, I'm alone. I guess it's time to get better. So you have it guys, basically dug all the eyes upon it just to start a clean slate. Now the only damage is that I can feel is this big damage here. So basically what they've done, they've just filled this, they haven't tried to pull it and they haven't dollied down these wee heights in around it. As obviously when this goes in, somewhere needs to go for the rest of the metal. So it goes out this way and then round the repair. So what we're going to do, we're going to dent pull this and tap down all these heights and probably give two skims of eyes upon and that'll be it done. As you've seen, I've done a wee video of how much eyes upon was actually in it. Um, it looks like someone put on with a fucking spent mixer or something like that. It was that thick guy. It took me about 10 minutes to grind it out. So there's no point leaving that in there. Might as well start a clean slate. So let's get cracking.
So we have it guys, we have our prime, finally. Looks not too bad. If I never threw it on as heavy as I did. I threw it on a wee bit too heavy. And as you can see, you can see lines in it and stuff, but don't worry about that there, we'll block all that into shape. Now that repair, we've done two skims. It was actually all right. Don't know how much I got of us actually repairing it. The other side, I don't really want to show you this side because we've got a marathon on it. We've got to be run the primer because I just threw it on. I threw it on, like, you can't really see it, isn't it? But it's been locked out of her, of course. Yeah, so it looks good. I just put a wee bit of black in an air solder or in, a, in the gun and flicked it over that. Now people probably ask them, what do we mix this primer at? Four to one. So that's four parts pri primer and one part hardener. But in the next video guys, we're going to be blocking this down and painting it. So hopefully we'll get that out next week. If you did enjoy this video or even thought it was rubbish, drop a like anyway because I don't want any dislikes, I just want likes. And if you're new, make sure you do subscribe. Anyway guys, this rebuilds NA out.